Once upon a time, there was an MMA freak whose whole life only turned around MMA and nothing else. This is him in a job interview. Hello, sir. I'm coming here for a job application. Ah, Mr. Marty Fake Newsman, right? Perfect. Come in. Thank you very much. My name is Jeff. Nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me in. My pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Interesting choice of clothing that you, that you have here. Is that your everyday fit? Do you walk around with this uh, every day? Yeah, I really love the gi, but normally I walk around in rash guards more. I always walk around in rash guards, but because I thought this is more elegant, the gi, I wear the gi today for our appointment. All right, got it, got it. But in this job, you would have to wear our t-shirts, branded t-shirts, if that's okay for you, I hope so. Yeah, of course, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, Mr. Martifik Newsman, you sent us your CV. Thanks so much for that. Do you also have like some other, I don't know, credentials or, or stuff that you could give us that we could take a look at? Maybe, I don't know, diplomas, anything, anything you have? Yeah, of course, sir. I have here in my gi, my share doc and my topology resume slash site. Here, sir, welcome. Perfect, thank you very much, thank you very much. Share doc and topology. Yes, sir. There you can see I'm a third degree brown belt on topology and I have a 67% accuracy on my UFC Fight Night picks. Okay. And on Sharedog, sir, you can see my record. I went 3-0 as an amateur and currently I'm 4-0 as a pro. So, if you bring me into your company, I'll make your company undefeated too. Well... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so do you have any IT or just overall computer knowledge that you bring to this job? Yeah, of course. I host UFC streaming links every weekend for fight nights and for pay-per-views and share them with the community on Reddit. Okay, yeah, um, I guess that's a yes. So you know how to handle computers a little bit? Yeah, of course, no worries. Perfect, perfect, good to hear. Um, what would you describe as your strengths and your weaknesses? Maybe just one each. Let me see, strength and weakness. Every coach has a different opinion on my strength and weaknesses, but I would say my strengths are like my chokes, my grip power, you know, for the chokes, definitely my strength. My weakness, I personally would say the uppercut could be a little bit better. I have like stuff like the angle that I have to change, but yeah, this would be my weakness then. Well, interesting choice there. <laughs> Maybe something more related to normal job, like, I don't know, being always on time, efficient work, I don't know. <laughs> ah, like that you mean. Yeah, I'm very often late for warm-ups, to be honest. But that's for the white belt. <laughs> and my strength would be that I always give it 100%. Well, okay, okay, let's just leave it with that. I can live with that. Mr. Fake Newsman, you quoted in your application that your motto for your life is, and I quote here, I black out before I tap out, bitch. Can you give us kind of an explanation what that should mean? Yeah, that's true. That's actually my life motto that I have tattooed on my back because I always give it 100% till the end and I never give up. Well, not quitting is actually not too bad. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation. And why did you decide to come here today and apply for this job? Hey brother, I come here for smash this guy. Smash this guy? How do you mean that? Me? Security, can you please come to room 522? Thank you. Um, th thanks for the information. <laughs> Interesting, good joke. <laughs> Since you would work directly with customers, how would you react if what happens sometimes, unfortunately, an angry customer approaches you 
and yeah, screams at you that he's not satisfied with the service, whatever. Good question. Well, probably I will tell him I can't let you get close and then shoot for a double leg or maybe for a single leg as well. Depends on if he's southpaw or orthodox, I would say, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's an interesting way to, to do that. But uh, we here in our company, we would like you to not handle it like this, but maybe calm the customer down and uh, make, make sure to him that you will take on his problem and it will all, all be, be solved for him. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. I can also handle it like that. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. In your language capabilities, you wrote that you understand fluent Stiopic and Scouser. Yeah, of course. All right. I think you won't need this here, <laughs> but good to know. Well, Mr. Fake Newsman, I think that's uh, all we need to know. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> Thank you for coming by and we will get to you, okay? <laughs> you will hear from us. Thank you very much, sir. It was my pleasure to be here. Honestly, highly appreciate it. Us and see you soon, boy. Have a safety poem, eh? don't smash anybody, please. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Yeah, can you please uh, escort him out? Yeah, and please lock the door after him. Never invite me again. Thank you very much. Legends have it that he's still cleaning the mats in the gym and hosting illegal streams for a living. If you want to see more insights on Marty Fake Newsman's life, then smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables.